Today I want to compare and contrast five biggies when it comes to free credit score provision. So we're going to analyze Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, Nerd Wallet, Wallet Hub, and Credit Wise. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, RT, or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to uh, do a comparative analysis about five players when we talk about free credit score provision. So we have Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, Nerd Wallet, Wallet Hub, and Credit Wise. But before I get into that, Everybody knows the importance of a credit score. I don't have to tell you the definition of it. And uh, basically, the score will oscillate between uh, 300 and 850. So there are several factors that actually will impact your credit score. So you have your payment history, your credit increase, credit usage, length of credit history, and any new credit you have. And it's very important to understand that when you choose a free credit score provider, you want to make sure that provider can get you access to all three major credit bureaus, right? TransUnion, Equifax, and uh, Experian, because it doesn't really make sense to just know your score in one bureau and not know the other two, or vice versa, right? You want to have, you want to see the full picture, and it's very important to understand that a credit score is important for several reasons. For example, money, 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 money. You can save if you have a low APR on a loan, on a credit card, on an insurance policy. That's savings for you. So money is the number one reason why a credit score is important. No, number two, your ability to access new credit, whether it is credit cards, credit card, credit card, credit cards, right? Or other types of products. So you, in the long run, let's say you are planning on buying a house. If you have perfect credit, you can actually save a lot of cash in terms of the interest rate or the interest you're going to have to pay over the the 30 years or 25 years or 20 years you will be staying in the house so that's a lot of cash here so big decision time talk to me right now do you know your credit score don't tell me that you probably checked it out like three months ago or six months ago do you know your credit score today that's a, I'm, I'm asking you a direct question if the answer is yes lucky you thank god but the, if the answer is no i want you to right now after you finish watching this show i want you to take the steps right now to know at least to sign up for any product they're all free you don't have to pay anything but to sign up for a product that you that allows you to monitor your credit your credit score this is important okay let's start this comparative analysis with credit wise so when you think about credit wise I want you to think about capital one because this is the service of Capital One, okay? This is a free credit monitoring service that allows you to access your credit score and credit report. And the cool thing about this is that, folks, you don't need a Capital One account to use CreditWise, but you must be 18 years or older with a valid social security number. And the CreditWise app is available for both Apple and Android services, okay? So this is kind of cool. And one thing I want to say here is that if you and the question is, why is Capital One doing this? Well, Capital One wants to secure the next generation of customers. That's all it is. <laughs> so they're giving you the service for free, whether you have Apple or Android devices. But your data, they are analyzing your data. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong, though. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's just what it is. And the service started in 2016, and it has a, a variety of primary features. So it allows you to track your credit score to view your credit score, to view your credit report also, to improve your credit score through tailored advice, and you can even use a credit simulator to see how certain activity would affect your credit score. So we love that, okay? And uh, the thing here is that uh, Capital One Credit Monitoring from CreditWise uses TransUnion's Vantage Score 4.0, 3.0 or 4.0 model. 
so they don't use the FICO score they use the Vantage score okay and uh, one thing I want to say also in terms of wonderful features you have free credit monitoring I already said that but I want to say that you, you are also able to see to have a detailed report of your credit score and you can have this every week or every month it depends on uh, how you set up your account and you have credit reports from two of the three main agencies so credit wise allows you to get a credit report from TransUnion and Experian you have alert on credit report changes free advice this is kind of cool money 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 think about it you are saving money by getting free advice free tailored advice from Capital One credit wise this is kind of cool we love that and you can see how future activity will affect your credit score so at the end of the day this is kind of cool and so how do you sign up for credit wise very simple if you already have a Capital One account that's wonderful but if you don't you will need to provide your first and last name your birth date your social security number your phone number your email address your home address and you must be at least 18 and a resident of, of the US or Puerto Rico to use the app that's it you got to have a social of course let's now talk about credit sesame and uh, as a matter of fact we have covered credit sesame on another show we have gone in depth so if you're interested in that uh, show just go check it out but what I want what I want to say right off the bat is with credit sesame you have a lot of uh, pros and a few cons pros free subscription tier good user experience their user experience is fantastic really the interface is great it's uh, intuitive easy to use we love the ergonomics fantastic you have that tracking and analysis great mobile apps and rent payment reporting they do that as well that's that's really good what about the cons they do have expensive paid tiers and and free level lacks tools that many competitors offer so if you are signed if you sign up for the free level for the free tier you don't have access to all the tools that you need if you want to deepen the analysis of your finances or your credit score okay something you just need to know so what are the credit system specs you have the free version the free credit score and report you have a web interface you have a Android app and a iPhone app but you, you don't have an income or expense tracking this is something that credit system if you're listening to me right now you, you need to fix because uh, you are losing you're gonna lose market share if you don't fix this you need to have this uh, profit and loss interface you know so this is kind of important so one thing I want to see here is that at the end of the day credit system it can help you improve your credit score so you can get better credit cards credit cards credit card credit cards right it's important to understand that not just credit cards but also loans okay this is kind of cool also and we'll also love the fact that credit sesame will support its free services by suggesting credit card and loan and loan um, option to uh, customers okay so this is something you need to think about and uh, what are the credit sesame subscription tiers so they do have a different subscription tiers you got to think about what really works for you and uh, we're showing on the screen you see all the tiers you have to pay for it if you want to pay for the if you want to have the premium service it will cost you but uh, at the end of the day you have to make a decision whether or not this is worth it for you okay and one thing I also want to say before moving on here is that credit sesame is a something is a is an app that is constantly in uh, constantly innovating so you have to ask yourself whether or not the payments you're making to uh, this service is worth it. I want to talk to you now about uh, the third app. We have Nerd Wallet. So this is actually a website, but also an app. And they've been around for a while now and this is kind of cool because when you think about nerd wallet you have a constellation of services not just free credit score provision you have useful financial advice but in terms of uh, money management tools the platform is kind of limited what are the pros and cons here what are the pros and cons first in terms of advantages you can track income and expenses through nerd wallet they have a thorough handling of credit score issues we love the fact that they have nice articles very informative articles their editorial content is kind of cool 
They have strong financial product browsing and educational tools, great mobile apps, and the best of the best is that the site and the app are free. What about the cons? Well, they do have some kind of a unusual homepage design. This is kind of interesting. Um, they do have uh, transaction management. It's not really uh, their forte. They have few transaction categories and NerdWallet's partner have some influence on editorial coverage. In other words, if you go to NerdWallet, you see a lot of credit cards being uh, pushed to uh, the readers or loans because, you know, they get money through affiliate marketing. But hey, listen, I'm not blaming them. They got to survive. They got to really uh, fund the, the platform. So but yeah, you just need to uh, to acknowledge that. What are the specs you need to know about NerdWallet? So there's a free version, the free credit score or report, web interface, income expense tracking, iOS app and Android app. One thing you need to understand is that the site is totally free, but it is supported by offers and recommendations from financial product providers. That's how they make money. Okay, it's how they make money. So you do have uh, you have to think about it, and at the end of the day, you have, you got to ask yourself. Is this service for me? You can get your, you can check your credit score through the site, but is it worth it? Are you interested in just checking your credit score? Or are you interested also in credit card offers or loan offers? Okay, and uh, there are two more personal finance elements. We love the fact that NerdWallet does a good job at showing you your cash flows, as long as you provide the right information to it. They have a, a nice feature that you can use to check your cash flows, and we all know that. Cash flows are kind of important. Liquidity is important. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you today about uh, I'm comparing th five free credit report providers and I've already uh, compared and contrasted CreditWise, Credit Sesame. We have Nerd Wallet. Now I want to review quickly Wallet Hub. When you think about Wallet Hub, I want you to think about a website that monitors your credit report and score. They're really good at that. And best the best thing we love with this site is that your score is updated daily daily think about it they have a, a good educational uh, database of resources they have useful financial tools and excellent mobile apps the drawbacks the site does not hook into bank accounts for transaction information the interface they could do better it's kind of sprawling right now they need to sort of regroup centralize things make it more user-friendly and they do have limited personal finance articles. In terms of the specs, they have a free version. They will the site offers uh, free credit report and scores. They have a web interface. There is no income or ex or expense tracking, and uh, the app is available on Android and iPhone. What we love with uh, Wallet Hub is it allows you to save money, 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 money. It allows you to grow money, to save it, to use it well. This is kind of cool. And what we love here is that you're able to actually grow your credit score by actually monitoring through Wallet Hub. You can see where you are, whether you are in the 500 or 600, whatever it is. And then over time, you can actually change it. And one thing we also love here is that Wallet Hub is free to use, but you must provide some personal information for the service to work. So these details include your address, date of birth, and last four digits of your social security number. So all online personal finance tools require that you provide some kind of personal information if you're going to let them automatically pull data on your behalf. And this is a huge convenience that results in fewer human errors that old manual entry personal finance software, okay? You just gotta be aware of that. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all about whether or not the service is for you. Because if you think about it, Credit Karma does the same thing. Um, Nerd Wallet does the same thing. CreditWise does the same thing. Now, people might be thinking, well, at least CreditWise is backed up by a bank. So the level of security there in terms of uh, personal data is high. N not always. All these five players are major players. They do have the resources to have the kind of military-grade encryption level 
that you need for your data to be secure. They're all good. How does Wallet Hub make money? Well, they all have similar business models. Okay, the primary way they make money is by showing offers to you for financial products. So when you sign up for one of these products through the site, they get paid. Affiliate marketing, that's all it is. Okay, and uh, we, lo we also love the fact that with uh, Wallet Hub, you have learning tools. Great. They have a, a credit analysis feature, which helps you understand your credit score. By the way, with Wallet Hub, you are actually uh, getting a score from TransUnion. So this is based on the Vantage Score 3.0 or 4.0 model. Okay, so that's what you get from uh, uh, Wallet Hub. Okay. Let's now talk about Credit Karma. Credit Karma is kind of cool also. When you think about Credit Karma, I want you to think about free credit reports and excellent mobile apps. We love the fact that the user experience is great. The platform and the app are free. And what we love with the Credit Karma is that they will explain to you the rationale for credit scores and reports. They will suggest solutions for problem areas and um, new no fee checking accounts. They do have this is a, one of the latest products they are offering, and they do have great mobile apps. In terms of cons, they do have uh, some distracting financial product recommendations, but again, they're not the only one. They all do that. They all play the same the same game. And uh, Credit Karma does not let you import transactions. In terms of the specs, the free version they have, they have a free version. They have a free credit report and score. They have a web interface. There is no income or expense tracking. They do have uh, an app both for Android and iOS. So when you think about Credit Karma as a, uh, let's say overall, they are a great personal finance service. So if you pay your credit card bills in full and on time every month, don't open and close accounts frequently. Stay current with loan payments and avoid negative event, let's say bankruptcies or tax liens. You'll be rewarded with an, envi with, uh, an inviolable credit score. Okay, and uh, by tracking your credit score through Credit Karma, you can see the results of your positive habits. Okay, and uh, when we think about Credit Karma, we think about credit cards, right? Credit card, credit card, credit, credit cards. You want to get credit cards with low APRs. You want to get loans with low APRs. And uh, this site has an easy setup. It takes about two to three minutes. You need to provide your name, address, and a few finance-related personal details, such as your social security number. And uh, so because this, the site holds sensitive information, it offers several security features. All right. Now, to navigate Credit Karma is, is very simple. The site is uh, great in terms of user experience. The dashboard, fantastic, very intuitive. OK. And uh, when we think when we talk about Credit Karma, they have two credit scores and those credit scores come from TransUnion and Equifax. All right. So this is something you need to know. And uh, in terms of uh, other things you need to think about, Credit Karma helps you make improvement to your credit score. They do provide uh, they do provide a dashboard that allows you to see what you have done so far. OK. And we love the fact that they have wonderful mobile apps and they also offer a credit monitoring service. So this is great. This is a unique service that they offer. And this is really, really wonderful in terms of intuitiveness, in terms of depth, and in terms of breadth of analysis. All right, folks. So which one to choose? So we have all the, all the five players. It really depends. At the end of the day, whether you choose Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, Nerd Wallet, or Wallet Hub, or Credit Wise, depends on your financial situation. That's the first First and foremost, what is your financial situation? Talk to me about that. Talk to me about your family's financial situation. And then you want to think about your credit score. Right now, are you in the basement? Are you around 300, 400, 500? Or are you comfortably sitting around 750? Because if you are in the 600 or whatever, you don't need, I mean, you do need to monitor your credit, but the need is not that is not urgent. Also, do you have credit score improvement goals? Big decision time. I want you to talk to me about that. Do you have a goal or do you have goals when it comes to improving your credit score? 
those are important elements because uh, these five services offer different, different, I would say, uh, yeah, different services. And what is, uh, what are your financial goals in general? What I'm trying to say here is that do you plan on buying a house maybe in two years? Do you, do you have a side gig? What is your liquidity situation? Talk to me about that. What is uh, the, is your family's in the dark, in the black or in the red when it comes to net worth? In other words, is your family's uh, net worth positive or negative? By the way, when we talk about net worth, we are talking about a very simple form formula. You subtract your liabilities from your assets. That's what, that's what your net worth is. And what are your budget needs? Do you want to track your budget? Because, for example, Credit Karma allows you to do that very, very, very well. You can track your budget. And what are your current debt levels? Money, money, money. Are you spending a lot of cash to service your debts right now? Talk to me about it. What is your DTI? Okay. So those are things you need to think about before choosing a free credit score provider. Because, yes, the credit score and the credit report is free. But what else do they offer? What are you losing? Because you're losing part of your privacy, that, that, that's for sure. They're not selling your product to a third party, but they're, they will be showing you ads. That's all it is. They'll be showing you other stuff. For instance, Credit Karma, they actually have a, a tax application and uh, they will want you to file your taxes through them. So this is thing, those are things you need to think about. So after analyzing those five players, our pick is Credit Karma. We have actually assigned the score of 9.5 over 10 to Credit Karma, Credit Sesame 9 over 10, Wallet Hub 8.5 over 10, Nerd Wallet 8.5 over 10, and Credit Wise 8 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.